Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Today I'm hiking in beautiful Greece, it's summer, and I want to talk about the benefits of hiking in nature for men who have prostate or bladder issues or men who have prostate cancer. And I want to do that because many of you who leave comments in my YouTube videos or men who that I work with and I coach tell me you love hiking. So, without further ado, grab a cup of tea, sit back, let's enjoy some beautiful views of hiking in Greece and I'll give you a full list of the benefits of hiking in nature and how it can help you in your journey to better health and well-being. In addition, I will tell you how to start hiking. You might have never tried it or you're not sure how to start in your area. I will tell you how to find some hiking trails, how to start safely, what to know before hiking and how to make sure you get the best out of it. First and foremost, hiking is an excellent form of exercise. And yes, I am going to categorize hiking as exercise, not just as physical activity. It's both. In any uh, recovery plan for prostate cancer, maintaining high physical activity and exercise is crucial for recovery and fighting the cancer. Okay, so hiking improves circulation. That also will improve your libido and help the muscles uh, down there. And it will also increase your strength because all the angles that you put your body work out the, the muscles also in your pelvic area in a good way. Apart from that, uh, when you hike, you are getting an insane amount of physical activity. So that burns calories. And we know that most men with prostate cancer need to lose body fat okay it's not about the weight we want to specifically lose body fat we are getting a huge workout we burn calories we build muscle which burns calories as we sleep now the last bit is that increasing physical activity in prostate cancer it might sound a bit morbid but it has been linked with a reduction of the chance of mortality from prostate cancer Number two, it reduces stress and it reduces inflammation. And that is super important for prostate cancer. Okay. So walking in nature, listening to the rustle of the leaves and the chirping of the birds is like nature's own stress relief therapy. Research has shown that walking in nature not only reduces uh, stress levels in the body, specifically the stress hormone cortisol, but also it reduces inflammation. Now, in prostate cancer and in any cancer, uh, cancers produce inflammation uh, in just the body trying to fight the cancer. It produces inflammation and uh, actually the tumor thrives in an inflammatory environment. So we want to reduce inflammation in natural ways to help our body recover, rest and heal, and also suppress the growth of cancer. At the same time, having high cortisol in our body, being in nature gives you these wonderful two great tools against uh, the tumor and in favor of you, reducing the stress and reducing the inflammation. Now, before we go to the next point, if you click the like button on this video, you can help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. And if you wanted to support me and say thank you, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. Number three, regular exercise like hiking can improve your sleep patterns. Now, I know that many of you uh, who have prostate cancer suffer from bad sleep. You have to wake up multiple times during the night, either to go to the bathroom or because you're experiencing hot flushes or just like that, you are not sleeping very deeply. So regular exercise, apart from uh, reducing the cortisol, which will improve the sleep just by itself, just by being in nature and exercising will help regulate your sleep, which will allow you to combat the side effects of medications and the therapies better and let your body rest and recover. 
But remember, each one of us is unique and we can experience the uh, journey of prostate cancer and also our responses to exercise much different than other men. So at this point, I want to invite you to leave a comment in the section of this video and share with us what do you think about hiking? Have you done it? Uh, has it helped you in any way? And what uh, uh, advice would you give to other men just like you watching this video who might want to give it a try? Number four, it boosts our immune system. Uh, moderate exercise such as hiking is a really good way to boost our immune systems naturally. During prostate cancer and specifically while undergoing treatments and medications for prostate cancer, our immune systems can get quite weaker and that makes us prone to infections and also catching viruses and all other pathogens. So hiking can boost our immune system, it can make us less prone to infections and also we can tolerate the medications such as chemotherapy doses to a larger degree. Number five, it improves your mental health and your cognitive health. Receiving a diagnosis of prostate cancer can be a challenge to our mental health, increasing anxieties and depression. At the same time, medications and therapies, especially hormone therapy and all the rest, can increase uh, just how vulnerable we are mentally. Uh, so hiking provides a very beautiful and natural escape from all those anxieties and bad thoughts. At the same time, apart from being in nature and getting the sun and the exercise, you can combine it with listening to relaxing music, to an audiobook, you can combine it with photography, you can bring a friend, family, come with a group. It's the possibilities are endless. Cognitive health has been shown to be improved by hiking and also by being in nature. So both exercise and being in nature both improve cognitive health. A lot of men that I work with tell me that they feel that their cognitive health, such as how, uh, how good their memory is or how sharp their mind is, has been impaired, especially after being on ADT, uh, hormone therapy. So hiking can provide a very natural and good way to also sharpen your mind, apart from escaping from anxieties and depression. Hey guys, so a quick pause here. I've actually reached a chapel, uh, San Constantinos and Heleni Chapel, which was a uh, part of my hike to reach this chapel. It's open for anyone who wants to go in and uh, say a prayer or just enter. And I will just show you how it looks inside. It's a traditional Greek Orthodox chapel. Uh, I will not enter with the camera recording. I will just open the door so you guys can see how a Greek traditional chapel looks like. It's like this. It's a small chapel. You can sit down. There is a few uh, uh, holy paintings that you can uh, uh, worship. And yeah, you can sit here. Number six, and this is super specific to prostate cancer, it can help reduce the side effects of treatments and medications. Hiking with its multitude of benefits can be a great treatment against the side effects that we experience from uh, treatments and medications of pro pro prostate cancer, such as fatigue, muscle loss, fat gain and bone density loss okay so hiking can help counteract all that now also it can help reduce the side effects of hormone therapy specifically hot flushes and mood swings number seven and this is super important for men in general it is a great me time activity and at the same time a great social connection activity if you choose to do hiking on your own while listening to audiobooks or music, it can be a fantastic me time. You can just listen to the to the sounds of nature and just empty your mind and or actually come here to uh, think about a subject. Uh, many Greek philosophers used to do that. They went for walks and let their mind wander and solutions to many problems which seemed uh, impossible to solve just emerged on their own. 
Social connection. Well, many times if I'm uh, on my own and I want to talk to someone, I can just give a, a voice call to some of my friends and connect at the same time. I'm out, I'm exercising, I'm getting the sunlight, I'm getting the nature, and at the same time I'm catching up with my friends, for example, in London. All right. Now, if you have friends and family, hiking is one of the most memorable activities that you will do together. Actually, today I'm close to a mountain that I used to come out with my dad when I was a kid. Hi dad, if you're watching this. And we we were hiking and we were boiling some uh, tea and just talk about uh, hunting and trips and whatever. It was beautiful. So if you have friends and family and you come out for a hike with them, they will love it. They will all love it, provided you are equipped appropriately. And I will talk about that at the end of the video, how to make sure your hike is a success. One more thing that you can uh, use hiking for to be build social activities, you can actually join a, a local hiking group, okay? And that will lead you to maybe form some new friendships and most importantly, receive emotional support. Actually, what I plan to do in the future is create groups for men with prostate cancer support groups that go out either for walking in the morning or hiking. I want to do that. I have taken part myself in many uh, groups, support groups of prostate cancer. I've sit, sat down with the members to hear about their concerns or their journey and offer them tips for exercise and how to get healthy. And we're all sitting down. Many times we're just eating sugary stuff. What I want them to do is uh, actually go for walks together or go for a hike. Number eight, it helps promote healthy eating habits. I will talk in the next few minutes about what to eat before a hike to make sure you have good energy and good health. But after a hike, you are likely to crave nutritious foods. Now, a diet in fruits, vegetables, leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, lean meats and whole grains is likely to help fight off cancer and promote health and well-being and also reduce the side effects of the treatments and medications. So, and actually you will notice that by doing something healthy, which can also be fun, like a hike, but because it's healthy, it will help you build momentum and do and also improve your diet improve your sleep improve, manage your stress better and all that will start to perpetuate a good beneficial cycle hello everybody i'm writing this segment of the video about on how to prepare for a hike on a completely different day one week later and on a different hike that was because my battery ran out. Actually, I couldn't record any more videos. Now, how to prepare for a hike? First of all, start with easier hikes. Go for a long walk in a, in a park, in a lake, in a nature reserve, and make sure that that is easy for you. Once you got that, try to search for easy hikes in nature around your area and there is an application that i use a lot i will link it in the i'm no i'm not affiliated with it but i use it a lot it's called all trails and it's uh, available for the mobile as a mobile app before you go for a more uh, outlandish hike make sure you let people know and i would recommend for your first few hikes do go with a friend do go with a group and of course, yeah, just let people know. So that's the safety part. Of course, make sure that you have uh, fully charged your mobile phone, you have reception, and if possible, also carry a, 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 a power bank, all right? A big battery to charge your phone. Next up, sun protection. I've got, uh, that's why I looked like a ghost in the previous videos. I've got sunscreen on, I've got more in my backpack. Do pack a backpack. I've got a hat, I've got uh, glasses. Okay, sun protection. Do also carry insect repel repellents. Now, for my viewers in Australia, you need to pack DEET, and that's for the, for the ticks, and also an insect mask, you know, the, the, 
the little mesh that you wear over your face because in Australia flies try to get into your eyes okay uh, next up please pack a lot of water and please pack an uh, isotonic solution so that's you might have heard it as electrolytes it's very easy to make it at home without having to deal up with all the artificial artificial sweeteners and the sugar you just have to uh, add a bit of salt and some drops of lemon juice okay prefer uh, pink himalayan salt because it also carries other uh, minerals in it uh, so that would be my tips also uh, yeah do carry uh, some stuff to enjoy your hike even more you can pack a a phone with a camera or if you have like your own camera and maybe some uh, earphones to listen to your music but just listening to the sounds of nature is beautiful okay so uh, let people know make sure you start with easier hikes food before just make sure you don't eat something really heavy I would recommend it is eating something that will keep you full for a long time okay some oats with uh, some yogurt would be perfect sun protection instant prote protection uh, and also do pack water and uh, uh, electrolyte solution okay uh, the more you the more you go on hikes the better of a pack you will um, organize for you so that's why I recommend starting out with easier hikes smaller hikes more local so you tend to build a bit of a experience on what you need on a hike so you can um, just enjoy it more please share your experience have you gone on hikes have they helped you in any way what would you share with men like you watching this video all right i want to continue on my hike thank you for watching keep fighting keep strong keep swinging and I'll see you in the next video.